that bad thing. Oh. Take down this. Mass. So. As I was saying that. Oh, I think that's how I got into me talking about the person getting so angry and stuff. But because the speaker was talking about how we support no matter what. I mean, he said, no matter what, you gotta love me. What kind of foolishness is that? People got it all wrong. You ain't got to do nothing but stay black and die. That's it. And some people ain't even staying black. Oh my goodness. I must have missed the bus. And some people ain't even staying black. They are. Uh, They own. Um, but they own. Um, <coughs> skin colors and stuff. Let me see. Oh, you don't even think like it's that late, but everything is closed. Let me see where the boss at. Let me see. Let me see. 19 minutes. Yep, we must have missed one. But that's good because one time I had. One time I had 20 minutes and I had 40 minutes. No. One time I had 19 minutes. Then it went to 22 minutes. It went to whole 19. No bus didn't come. It went to 22. And then it went to 40 something. That was when I had did a, a all night at the church. That was New Year's. New Year's Eve, New Year's, New Year's Day. And they had watch night service here. Cause I left about 12 something. Oh, oh Lord Jesus. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad I followed my mind. When the Lord said buy stuff, I bought it. I bought me a coat. Or me two coats. Yes, I did. I was inside Mandy's. That's the second coat I bought. The first coat I bought from H and M. It was a Parker. Well, it's nice and thick. No. Oh, oh. oh, sorry, sorry. Time for a scarf, all that stuff. Sweater underneath this. I can wear a sweater. I put a shirt underneath this um sweatshirt. I think I got another one that's a little bit thicker than that. But anyway, my mind told me to put that one on. But anyway, I, um, <sighs> you, babe. So the the as I was saying, the speaker, I'm gonna upload this. I'm gonna upload his message and look for it. It's gonna be entitled, "No matter what, you gotta love me." <laughs> and he was saying, he was saying that. Um, 
you'll hear it. And you'll see my facial response. He was saying that, um, you can ask me to do anything I do. We supposed to work together. We supposed to work together. I may not be able to do it right then and there, but I'll do it. Come and ask me, I'll do it. And I'm looking, I'm looking at him like this. Check my head. Mm. I'm looking at the next person. Shaking my head. I don't know whether the next person saw me, but where they were sitting, they had no choice but to saw me, see me, excuse me. Because we know so it's past sense. But I really, I really didn't wasn't really worried about whether they saw me or not. The fact of the matter is, you up on the pulpit telling a fib. And people amening you, and they fibbing right along with you. Back to church Sunday. What happened to everybody that's supposed to be giving out envelopes? I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you. Whoever's watching this video right now, I'm going to watch it. I'll come across it. I'm here to tell you. People better stop fibbing. People say a lot of things when they get behind that pulpit. But one thing they do not realize is that when you tell fibs behind the pulpit or on God's, I call it God's throne. When you up there on God's throne and he gives you the opportunity to bring a word and you up there telling lies. Mm, God gonna get you. And I'm gonna tell you honestly, I bring the word. I don't bring it now. I stop for a bit. I'm just waiting for the Lord. And it may sound kind of weird that I would say something like that. Well, why would you stop? God don't stop nobody from bringing the word. No, maybe he don't, but he does me. And it does not necessarily mean that I did something wrong. I'm up there and I'm saying things that's lies and all this other stuff. It's just that, you know, sometimes I really think that God sit back and watch people now mind you he 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 whatever word that is omnipotent or whatever whichever one where he's everywhere he's that word and he's right there with you wherever you are in your home in the store in the church on the phone wherever you are that's he there he there with you he supposed to be dwelling within you and if his word says that know ye not that your body is the temple of the living God. So now if he's a living spirit and you got all this foolishness going on with you, in you, and around you, how do you think he is contented? So he right there on that pulpit, sitting up there with them people, sitting next to us. His, his presence, omnipresent, maybe that's it, he everywhere. His presence is in every place because his, the earth is his footstool. So he, we, I'm standing right here waiting for the bus, he here. He here. I can look up, I can't see him, but he see me. Wherever you at, he's there with you just like he's here with me. So that's what I'm saying. People get up there and tell him fibs. You talking about you, I'm here. We got to work together. What? Uh -uh. And, 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 and I'm going to say this. It really hurts my spirit. I don't know what I should say. It grieves the spirit. But I know one thing that hurts me to hear people say things like that. And I'm the one who's experienced it. I'm the one who is experiencing it. You talking about we got to work together. You see my hair flying? <laughs> Do you see it? It's no joke out here. No kind of joke. It's cold. <laughs> it's full. Oh. I drank that chamomile tea and my body's relaxed and ready to get up in its bed. But 
You, how? How you say such a thing? How? Sometimes I, I can overlook and I put my head down and I'll shake my head, I'll say help Lord. But there are some times when people say things that is a downright lie. I gotta look at them and tell them. It's like somebody gonna say to me, cause we was talking one time and they were saying that the saints should be able, the, the saints should counsel those that first get saved, you know, be interested in what's going on with them instead of just leave them. They get saved and they just leave them. So they were saying to the person that was saying that, oh, we don't just leave them. We be there, you get saved, you got the word, do the word, you got the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost tell you what to do. We don't need to be following behind you, telling you what you're doing, all this. And I'm just sitting there, and I'm just like, they had, they really got the wrong aspect. They they really got the wrong concept of what you're supposed to do and how you're supposed to help. They got the wrong concept of help. So I'm listening. listening. So I was like, can I say something? I was like, sure, go ahead. I said, mm. I just just like this because I had to think. I had to think. I wanted to make sure I said it right and I wanted to make sure they understood what I was saying. And I was trying not to be disrespectful, harsh, or um, loud or anything towards the person that was talking. I said, mm. I said, when a person gets sick, they go to the hospital. What? I guess you can hear me. So I had the mask. So I pulled the mask down. I said, when a person gets sick, they go to the hospital. They go to the emergency room. And when they get up in the emergency room, the people that are in emergency room, the doctors and the nurses, they help that person. They do not leave that person there. There are doctors in every field to help each sickness. Every field to help each person. So whatever that person is going through or uh, is brought into that hospital for, they go get that doctor for that particular person. And that doctor do not say, no, I'm not going to help him because that's his job. That's what he was supposed to do. So with that being said, we as saints is supposed to help people. The word says, for this shall all men know that ye are my disciples if ye have love one for another. It's not, in this, it's not a guarantee that everybody's going to have love. That's why the if there. That means that it's a conjunction word. They bringing that sentence together. So it's saying, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. It's letting you know how people are, how people are supposed to know that people belong to God is by the love coming from their heart. Not so much as what they show. That's why God looks at the heart. Because a lot of people profess that they love him and don't and inside their heart. What do he say? His heart, their heart is far from him. So that's why he looks at the heart. So a person on the outward appearance, you paying attention, the man just said it in the train too. The person on the looking at the outward appearance, oh, he got a good He's dressed. Look at them two rats. They go. Yeah, I'm running after you. <laughs> Yo. Uh, so, here for my bus. Oh, he just took the light off. So. Oh, no, he still got it on. We're going to see if he come all the way around. It ain't 19 minutes. So, he going to turn. And I bet you it be. I won't be surprised. Not bet you. I won't be surprised if it turns into um, not in service. Because the time ain't up yet. It's at six minutes. So unless he come right there and sit, he gonna turn his bus into not in service. Okay, so now, I, I'm, I'm telling them that. I said, so therefore, we as Christians is supposed to help people. We are supposed to feel their pain. We are supposed to have compassion for them. They don't have to tell us our business their business but if we are in the right place in God God will tell us what's going on with the person 
He will put it in our spirit because we have a connection with him. I said some other things. I said some other things. I said, so, you know, when I finish what I'm saying, the person said, well, um, we do that. We do that. I said, huh? Wait, 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 wait. I said, so we are Christian. And they said saints. I said, well, you can use whatever words you choose to use. If we Christians, if we profess in Christianity, then we are supposed to present love to the people. We ain't supposed to just leave them alone out there by themselves. And so then the person, that's when the person said, well, that's what we do. There's another person over there. That's what we do. We do that right here in the house of prayer. I said, huh? So we do that right in the house of prayer. I said, oh. Uh, he, the way that it was said, I said, well, oh, I can't really answer that because it's not directly at me. Some kind of way it was said. And then they said it again. Oh, we do. I said, oh, you're saying that y'all do it here in the house of prayer? Yes, we do it in the house of prayer. They say, don't we? No, 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 no. Yeah, they said, don't we? I said, well, um, I can't really answer that because the question is not directed at me. So I wasn't, I was trying not to expose them and what they were not doing. Even though they were sitting there trying to say they did, did it. They do do it. I did do it. And I'm a living witness that you didn't do it. So I'm not going to come and expose you unless you blow yourself up on your own. So being that you're saying that we do this right, we do it right here. Okay, if that's what you said, just leave it alone. I'm not going, I'm not going to go into it. If that's what you, if that's what you're saying you do, then that's what you do. Don't get me to lie for you because I'm not going to lie because I got to give account for it. So now when, when, when I said, well, the question is not really directed at me, so I can't really answer. Well, yes, we do it right here. We do it right here. I said, well, in that case, y'all ain't never did it for me. I said, ain't no, not, nobody never called me up to ask me how I'm doing. Nobody never called me up to ask me, what are you going through? Are you all right? And I should have said, ain't nobody called up my husband, so you ain't doing it here in the house of prayer. You see what I'm saying? My husband is not saved, but yet and still, you're wanting to be saved. He's a soul. So that's also a part of helping, even though it was geared around a saint helping a saint. But a saint is supposed to help anyone that's in need. They say, if your brother's in need and you shut up your bowels of mercy against them or towards them, how so our heavenly father will not do the same to you. So you want to be stingy with your stuff. God will be stingy with his stuff. When you get on your knees and you start praying, I, Lord, give me this. Can I have this? And he becomes stingy. You want to call him like that. He becomes selfish because he said he's a jealous God. That's my boss. All right. All right. I hit you. I'm not getting the house. Oh.